my heart literally feels like it's beating out of its chest at what I'm about to show you. This is so ridiculously exciting. Quasar now supports Veet, which is just remarkable. I can't even comprehend the amount of work I must have taken to make this hap happen. So anyway, I'm ridiculously excited. Let's have a look at how we can make this happen and you can get take it for a spin. Uh, especially if you have a larger project, this is going to excite the crap out of you and blow your mind. All of that snail paste webpack stuff where you have to wait forever to the for the server to start up, but also waiting forever to see the tiniest changes. You know, hot module reloads taking forever. That's a thing of the past now. It's ridiculously, ridiculously fast. Check this out. First of all, you're going to want to say npm install dash g, um, a global install for at quasar slash cli. All right, so you're going to have to run that. And then in order to start a new server, we now do things a little bit differently. And I've actually forgotten how to do it. So I'm quickly going to look this up. Oh no, hang on. It, I don't have to look it up because it tells you what to do. Uh, if we say now quasar dash v, you notice that I'm on 1.3.0 and then we run quasar dash, uh, sorry, quasar create and then give it like a name. Notice that we now get this new menu saying, hey, for scaffolding an official Quasar project, please use this instead. So we're going to run yarn create Quasar. So all we have to do is say yarn create Quasar. Give that a second to run. And then when that's done, we can come in here and start answering some of these questions. So notice now you've got app extensions for Quasar CLI and app extensions for creating um, UIs. So that's available to us from the get-go. Uh, but we're going to choose just a normal app with Quasar. We can choose a project folder. So I'm going to call this Quasar Vite Play. And it even gives us the option here to use Quasar version 1, which uses view 2 under the hood. So if you really need to use view 2, you've got that option now. We've also got uh, the choice between JavaScript and TypeScript. I'll choose um, JavaScript to hit a wider audience. Um, now we've got the option between Webpack and Vite, which is currently in beta. I've been playing around with it and haven't hit any problems, um, but do keep in mind that it is in beta. And now we can call this Quasar Vite Play. I'm pretty much just going to enter through a lot of this. Uh, ESLint. By the way, ESLint has been updated now, so a lot of the linting is just going to work out of the box. A lot of my other videos, you see me changing the linting stuff. Don't have to do that anymore. We can choose between Pina and Vuex if we would like to, and then obviously like um, Axios and, and it comes to some of the other options we had before. Um, I'm just going to go ESLint. By the way, I don't use Pina and I only use Vuex because it supports Vuex ORM. For the most part, I use, use Global State for my... Um, stuff now. Anyway, moving on. ESLint, we're going to go to standard because um, I don't tend to like using pretty art. It's totally up to you. And we're going to use Yarn to install our dependencies. Now, when this done, when this is done, we're going to cd into that directory, which is, what did I call it? Um, quasar dash vite dash play. By the way, you can type into your console whilst things are happening. So I'll often do this. I'll start typing so that when it's finished installing, the thing that I just typed is going to show up. So check this out. Notice that it just shows up straight away. So now I can press enter, open this in Visual Studio Code. And <laughs> this is amazing, right? So check this out. Quasar Dev. Give that a second and it's already started up. Isn't that remarkable? So let's take this out of full screen now. Throw it on the side. And we've already got a dev server up and running. Let me just show you that again. Quasar dev, and it's up and running. Unbelievable. So then it's gonna um it's gonna like pull in all of the components. Uh, so the load the f that first load time does take you know one or two seconds. But now if I refresh the page, it's ridiculously fast. But here's the other thing: if I go to our index page now, and then I come up here and say, for example, q dash card, and then I'll add in there a q dash card dash section. I'm just so excited that my hands are literally jury. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'll throw in some Laura Mix in there and we'll just have an image at the top as well. So let's set the source of that equal to, uh, I believe it's called pixsum.photo slash 800, or maybe we'll make that like 1000 by, um, I don't know, 500, something like that. So we get a picture at the top and there we go. Now this is the other amazing thing. The load time is so fast. So if I paste that in and go save, it shows up straight away. That is ridiculously fast. When we were using 
um, Quasar CLI, especially as the project got larger and larger, you didn't get these amazing, amazing save speeds. Now, if I come into ESLint um, RC.js and I comment out essentials and bring in recommended, this is something I always do at the start of a new project, save this, we get all of that extra linting. So notice once again, I'll just control Z that. Um, oh, it's not showing anymore, there's squiggly lines. But we had some squiggly lines showing that the format wasn't right and we save it and the formatting is just beautiful to begin with. Another thing you'll notice is quasar.conf.js has changed to quasar.config.js. And now we've got all these little like red squigglies because I've made the linter pretty strong. Save it and it just removes them all. Everything is just fixed. How beautiful is that? How nice is that? The structure is still going to be the same as what you're used to. We've also got this .vs code file, which is actually a, something that happened quite recently as well, where um, we've got some recommended extensions and some recommended settings, which are automatically going to be applied for you, which is really, really cool. So there you go. I mean, I don't even know how to tell you how excited I am about this. This server is running so quickly. And for those of you that have been running smaller projects, this might not seem like a big deal. When you're running larger projects and you have to wait forever, and then you start thinking, like we've made decisions in our company that we might even start splitting our apps up because it takes so long to run the dev server as our project grows. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We can have massive projects that are still going to start the dev server in milliseconds. Let me just show you this one more time. Close that down, ready? One, two, three, enter. One, two, and it's like, it's less than a second and the server is up and running. I, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. And by the way, we did have Quasar Vite before, but Quasar Vite was a little bit different before in that um, uh, you had to, you didn't get to do it with the CLI, so we couldn't export it to different platforms easily. But now we've got Quasar using Vite, and we can still use things like Electron. We can export it to mobile applications. So I really hope you guys are really like starting to understand the immense amount of work it would have taken to make this happen, which kind of leads me to the last thing I want to say here, which is... Please, if you're watching this and you haven't donated to Quasar yet, please do consider donating, even if it's a small amount. And I'm not joking when I say small, even if it's like a dollar a month. The important thing to me is to get into the habit of donating. This, you know, this might mean that you have to give up a coffee every month, which really isn't that big a deal. In fact, I encourage you to think of it that way. Like, how often do you go out and get a coffee every week? How often do you go out and grab a meal every month? And then just think about the immense amount of time that you have saved thanks to Quasar Vite and the immense amount of time that Razvan and the team has put into making this happen. I mean, honestly, the amount of time and effort and resource and pain that would have happened into making us, giving us this in, incredible dev experience. Like, like, I really do urge you to just spend, even if it's just a dollar a month, and if you work for a company, I know it can be uncomfortable, but just talking to whoever's in charge and saying, hey, um, you know, this new thing called Quasar, Quasar Vite's come out, it's going to save us um, on a monthly basis, hours upon hours upon hours of time. Um, especially for larger projects, this is going to save us an immense amount of time. Every time we press save, we um, rather than the, you know having to wait for that dev server to run again, um, it happens instantly, which means that we are saving seconds. Um, you, you know, every single hour, you're probably saving minutes. And so if you can just like put it into that perspective for the employer and be like, hey, considering that you're getting a huge amount of extra resource from us, maybe, you know, we could consider donating a little bit to the Quasar framework or even donating a lot to the Quasar framework. I had this conversation um, with the people that I work for. And yes, I'll admit it was, it did feel a bit uncomfortable. And they just said, yeah, sure. You know, we want to um, um, help, we want to contribute. And the only reason that this is possible is because of extra time given to the maintainers of this project. So please, for the love of open source, for the prosperity of the future of Quasar and other projects like this, please do donate to, donate to the Quasar framework. I really think it's totally worth it. By the way, we're getting a linting error here. I'm just going to control click that and then just save the file. And then if I run this again, I think that linting error is probably going to go away. Yeah, there we go. This is the great thing about the new version of ESLint. So once again, please do consider donating to Quasar by going to, I believe it's um, quasar.dev slash donate um, or something along those lines. Let's try slash donate. 
Okay, sorry, I've given you the wrong thing. Sponsors and backers, you want to go to that section there. Check that out. You can donate by GitHub or PayPal. I recommend doing it by GitHub because then you can easily do a monthly um, donation. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope you enjoy using Quasar CLI with Veep. It is blowing my mind. My heart is racing. I can't wait to start developing with this platform.